it's time to uh, dive uh, Yapak and I'm pointing at uh, Puka Beach according to the dive master it's almost right across Puka Beach but uh, a little bit in front okay so we're diving the most difficult dive site in the whole of Boracay which they call Yapak 1, Yapak 2, Yapak 3 but some some dive masters they uh, term it different ways no? but anyway this is called the Yapak it's a uh, blue water descent uh, when you go down up to a hundred and feet so if you don't have a good dive master you can be in trouble we're about to start we're going to do a back roll on a blue water descent and uh, we won't see anything that's why a good dive master has to use a compass here we go I have to hold on to my uh, regulator and mask while shooting myself the back row starts and it's a negative dive the only way you can uh, dive this is negative dive and then the current <clears throat> will bring you to the actual site now problem the problem here is that <clears throat> uh, excuse me if you're not good in equalizing uh, you can be in big trouble that's why you have to tell your dive master if you cannot equalize fast uh, they have to back rod a little bit farther depends on how uh, how good you are equalizing because uh, you can actually uh, miss the dive site by the time you equalize so my wife Berna uh, was able to equalize because she's really having a hard time but now she was able to go down so she, she starts picking going down as uh, soon as we follow the dive master looking for the dive site I'm sure by this time he's using his uh, compass so uh, once you start diving the reef will be on your right side that is if you hit the reef properly okay? and many times I've been to this uh, dive site uh, because of the strong current like as you can see the bubbles are turning 45 degrees uh, you normally miss the dive site because the dive master uh, did not make a good briefing or he did not ask properly about the condition of the divers whether they can do a negative dive and also can they equalize properly so 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 many factors okay so that's the reason why uh, a lot of uh, uh, dive shops and dive masters they don't want to bring their divers here because it's so deep that uh, at uh, 40 meters maybe you can do a bounce dive maximum of two minutes considering that it's your first dive without nitrogen in your computer and you have to ascend slowly that's the problem also of this particular dive so uh, if your dive computer is clear okay with no nitrogen uh, well you can stay uh, I would say up to 15 minutes while enjoying it but the best part is actually uh, the reef uh, before you uh, descend to the wall you have a, a, a very nice reef so uh, you can just stay uh, just on top of the reef and enjoy the fish uh, in this particular site you can see a lot of soft corals and hard corals and those are sea fans white sea fans however uh, you just have to uh, uh, go with the current and if you need to stop then you get pulled by the strong current you might have to hold on to a, to a dead rock or else you destroy the reef that's why here when you dive uh, Yapa you just have to really um, dive with the current all right but we are lucky on this particular dive we did this morning uh, 
internet is not that strong okay um, that's why we we can enjoy it no? uh, and we're only uh, two divers you come here with uh, so many divers it's going to be uh, a lot of stress on the part of the dive master my suggestion here is uh, it should be one dive master to two divers if you dive this site uh, a group of uh, let's say uh, five or six divers uh, unless they're all advanced and really uh, good divers uh, it's not going to be an easy dive it's going to be a be a stressful dive okay so um, later we will show you how we will uh, ascend on this particular dive as we glide down to uh, about 40 meters you can see um, there's so many uh, corals and most of them are uh, big uh, sea fans and that's the top of the reef which is about uh, 35 meters depends on the tide whether it's low tide or high tide okay so that's why the camera is a little bit backlighted because it's looking up so now I decide to uh, put down again the camera so I won't be backlighted as uh, the current is trying to uh, uh, bring me to Yapak 2 Yapak 2 is supposed to be uh, our end of the dive where we're supposed to see a uh, uh, big crack normally on that big rock there's uh, a lot of uh, big fish hiding on that big rock I'm not really sure if we can reach that uh, big rock because we're still uh, kind of deep here and enjoying the corals uh, however because there's not much current there's not much fish so that's the only problem if the current is not too strong uh, you will see very little fish swimming around uh, because the bigger fish uh, they would normally come out when the currents uh, are stronger and uh, there was a time uh, you would see here uh, the big tuna <coughs> just uh, cruising by but anyways we are just trying to uh, shoot the different uh, soft corals as you can see different uh, colors and I'm not even feeling uh, the uh, current is up. the current is actually bringing me around just to make sure I don't uh, destroy any of the uh, corals here. So uh, in a few more minutes, we'd have to start uh, going up. So to dive very deep is a lot of fun, a lot of nitrogen. However. You cannot really stay too long because your uh, computer will not allow you and if you stay longer than that when it's time to go up that means uh, you're doing uh, a deco dive and uh, deco dive is uh, not easy especially if you're running out of uh, air you might have to uh, get some air from your body the normal dive is uh, you can just do a three minute safety stop but with the deco dive you might have to stop uh, much longer than that uh, it can be from 30 minutes to one hour so if your body has no more air then you might have to go to the uh, chamber <laughs> so the chamber will decompress your uh, how should we say burnout compression nitrogen if you go to the deco decompression chamber yeah so to be able to be safe uh, if you have to go up uh, because you run out of air then you might be in trouble or maybe if you have an oxygen in the boat that might be able to save you so diving this yabak uh, is not easy huh? especially if you're diving it the first time you have to listen properly to your uh, dive guide because if you don't 
And if you get lost, then you're looking for trouble. So now, uh, we started going up already, still looking down because, you know, you can really admire the, uh, the beauty of uh, this Yapak dive. Going to Yapak dive, if you're coming from the White Beach, you're actually going to pass by uh, Shangri-La, Mobinti, Crimson. You get to see those uh, five-star resorts. And you normally do a back roll, as uh, I said a while ago, right before the Puka Beach. But your dive master has to know how far you are to the beach. So he has to uh, check the bearing on the uh, front island. So without looking at that bearing, you might be uh, dropping on a wrong angle <laughs> or wrong sight. So it is really required that... Uh, the dive master should be uh, uh, knowl be knowledgeable on this dive side. Maybe he should have at least uh, over a hundred dives, okay? Because uh, you can actually miss the dive side because of the uh, strong current. So the technique is, I would suggest you try to uh, check out Nonoy, uh, who's the uh, best dive master in Aqualife. Yes, if Nono is not there, maybe you can do it some other day or, or you can come back uh, if Nono is uh, busy. Alright, so again, I suggest you dive with Aqualife Divers in Station 2, ba sila, Berna? Station 2, Station 3. I think they're in Station 3, yeah? 3? So Station 3, alright. So, you can check them out. Ito na. This is my wife, Berna, looking at her uh, computer. Uh, Nagdiko ka ba, Berna? Did you have a Diko? Did you Diko? Ah, ilang minutes? Three, ah, three minutes. Ay, hindi, hindi ka nagdiko. Safety stop lang yun. Safety stop. Ano lang? Safety huh? stop. Ah, so 3 plus 3 minutes safe to stop. Or the 6 minutes. Ah, not so bad. So 3 minutes dito, 3 minutes safe to stop. A total of 6 minutes uh, on your uh, computer. And here's our uh, dive master, Nonoy. Let's go, Nonoy. There's the balloon. So the balloon can actually find... So the balloon, the purpose of the balloon, so the boat will find us and you don't get hit by a moving boat like a jet ski or a banka that can uh, uh, pass over you and get hurt so never uh, always for always remind your dive master do you have a balloon no balloon do not dive beside okay so we'll see you on our next dive here in Boracay.